the story of Sparky the Fire Dog. Are you ready? Here we go. A few years ago, a Dalmatian puppy sat outside the fence at the school. The puppy loved watching the children play games and laugh. He wanted to go inside and play with the children, but he was very shy. He spent his days running back and forth along the fence, sometimes barking, hello. One day, the puppy followed two, two children home from school. He watched them go inside their house. Then he curled up under a tree to take a nap. The puppy woke up. He could smell smoke. He saw smoke and flames. The children's house was on fire. The puppy knew he needed to get help right away. He ran down the street to the fire station, barking all the way. The puppy saw the firefighters jump into the truck and leave. He tried to run behind them, but his little legs could not keep up. Oh, I wonder what's going to happen. He ran back to the house. The street was filled with fire trucks, hoses, and lots of people. The puppy could not find the kids. He was worried. Oh dear. The firefighters worked very hard to put out the fire. They got back into the fire truck. Then firefighter Janet noticed the sad puppy. Look. It's the little puppy we saw barking at the station, she said. Firefighter Janet picked up the puppy. Her arms felt safe. The puppy could not stop thinking about the kids. Let's take him to the neighbor's house, said the firefighter. The kids are there. Maybe he can cheer them up. Firefighter Janet carried the puppy to the neighbor's house. The puppy could not believe his eyes. The children were safe. The puppy jumped out of Firefighter Janet's arms. His tail wagged faster than ever before. The children hugged the puppy. They felt a little bit better. Do you know who this puppy belongs to? Firefighter Janet asked. The children did not know, but they had seen him at school. Well, he's a real hero, said Firefighter Janet. He ran all the way to the fire station to let us know there was a fire at your house. I guess that makes him a fire dog, said Firefighter Janet. We should call him Sparky. That's it, Sparky the Fire Dog. <laughs> That's a good name for the little fella. Sparky can live with us at the fire station, she said, but you kids can visit him anytime you want. Sparky was very proud of his new name. He loved his new home at the fire station. He worked hard to teach children and their families all about fire safety. The end. So to all of you out there who don't know about fire safety, if you want to learn about it, just ask your parents, your guardians, or your teachers, or even an older friend. I bet they can teach you. See you later. Bye.